Hey there! I hope you're doing good. I am uh, working on a 12 inch canvas today and it was pretty ugly. I had done a pour on it and I didn't care for it. So I have put a fresh coat of black 50-50 and it's Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in my black cup. That's mixed one to one ratio with Oetrol Easy Flow and Easy Flow is uh, a European, Oetrol is a European company. You can only get their product on their website or on Amazon. It's very comparable to Floetrol in the United States and um, I actually love it. It's very self-leveling and it has a little bit of a sheen. It's really awesome. Less fluggers in it. So I highly recommend it. That's what I'm using today, 50-50, with all of my colors. Very quickly, I've got uh, Deco Art in the bottle here, Orange Flame, and Primary Yellow. And the dark purple is Soho Dioxazine Violet, which is a really dark purple, so I added a little bit of Liquitex Basics Prism Violet to that. This one is Purple by Master's Touch, which is actually almost to me like a lavender. And I added some of the dark purple to that to deepen it just a little bit. This one is Artist Loft Deep Magenta, and I lightened it a little bit with Waverly by Plaid Fuchsia. I got, the, got that at Target or somewhere like that. This is Apple Barrel Cranberry with some white mixed in with it. And I had done a previous pour and um, a white flower that I blew with the blow dryer and I want to do another blowing project but I wanted to do it on a black background and just uh, see what I could create with colors that I really love because I love purples with oranges and yellows and blues and actually I'm going to bring in the red too. This is True Red by Deco Art. That's in my squeeze bottle. So these have silicone in them and the rest does not have any silicone but I'm not going to add any to the others because I don't necessarily want cells but if I get cells that's fine. This one is Turquoise by Artist Loft and this one is Creative Inspirations from Jerry's Artorama. It's Ultramarine Blue. So I've got my blow dryer. Uh, it is a 2100 watt blow dryer with a cool setting and I have a tool on it that came with the blow dryer that compresses your air to one area and um, I use the cool setting so it does not dry or heat my paint and this is in my Amazon link below the video if you want to check it out. So I'm not going to talk, I'm just going to put some colors down and blow with my blow dryer and probably fast forward it a little bit and, or at least turn the volume down so the blow dryer won't be so loud. So just enjoy and watch.
So I kind of wish I'd left the uh, the orange, yellow, and red out. Drop some white there in the middle. Because I love the white and turquoise blending into the purple on top of that blue that it looks very spacey or something. So I'm just trying to accentuate. I'm making a mess, but I want to get some of this, uh, these little tiny cells off. So this is kind of a gray area here. I'm just going to add a little bit of the black and turquoise. I'm going to take my heat gun. Not really any change. But I think I can deal with this. I want it kind of to look like an explosion. I should have just used the colors without the uh, red, orange, and yellow in the squeeze bottles. And I think I would have had really kind of a beautiful effect. But, it is what it is, and there's some cells in there and things like that, and that's okay. So, I'm just uh, spreading the paint around on the sides and bottoms so it doesn't drip, but here it is. So I've got to learn how to work with the uh, the blow dryer a little bit better to blow. But I enjoyed it and I hope you did. If you did, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.